Hey everyone, how are you doing today? I hope that you're having an absolutely wonderful day. Today I am drinking hojicha gold tea from Den's Tea. And oh, this stuff is so special. Hojicha is roasted green tea. And I don't even know how to explain the gloriousness that is this tea. It's like, it's roasted, like I said, but it's also got a sweetness to it that it doesn't seem natural it's so good it has low caffeine it's really easy on your stomach and it's just an extremely cozy tea i have a friend who went to japan and brought back powdered hojicha i think she got it at a starbucks in japan sadly of course you know you have to go to japan to get it that stuff was incredibly addictive like oh my goodness if you happen to be in japan and go to a starbucks uh, that i can absolutely recommend the powdered hojicha Mm, mm, absolutely delicious. It's like the most delightful merging of roasty and sweet. Okay, let's talk about this video today. I don't know still what I'm going to title it, but I was amusing myself the other night thinking about how different my tastes have changed from 10 years ago to now. And if I was to meet myself 10 years ago, <laughs> there's some weird time paradox things going on here, <laughs> what I would recommend to myself to buy. Um, so for context, 10 years ago, I was in my early 20s. I had a brand new baby. I wore very little makeup. I would wear mascara and lip gloss essentially. Uh, maybe if I got to it that day. Um, I didn't have a lot of money to spend on makeup and I wore very, I just didn't really care about things like eyeshadow and highlighter and bronzer, things like that. But the main thing, I know I wouldn't have spent very much money on makeup. So I decided to put together um, a bunch of my favorite, most affordable makeup that I would recommend to someone like that. Someone who needs affordable makeup for budgeting reasons, but also just doesn't wear a lot, doesn't like to wear a lot of makeup. Like leans more towards the more natural look. So I'm gonna start with foundation, which I'm already kind of going off track because at 23, I did not wear foundation. However, I have to talk about this foundation. It's from Believe Beauty. You get it at Dollar General. And you guys, when I, I've heard people talk about this and before I tried it myself, I was like, you guys, Dollar General makeup. It just sounded so nasty to me for some reason. But this is so, so nice. So it comes in a really nice glass bottle. It has a pump on it. It has just really nice, luxurious feeling components. And the actual product is really, really good. It has a satin finish, so it's not too glowy. It doesn't cake up weird. I haven't noticed any oxidizing. This shade, uh, Delicate Ivory, is a pretty good match for me. And it wears really well. Like, it's just a really, really pleasant product to wear and use. And it's unbelievable that it's only $5. So if you are, if you have a Dollar General near you, I would highly recommend trying it out. But as for, you know, 23-year-old me, I think I probably would've rolled my eyes and been like, I don't need foundation. All I want is concealer. <laughs> At which point I would have tried really hard to convince my past self to spend a decent amount of money and just get a Glossier or NARS Potted. These are my very favorites and it would have been so up my alley at that age. But you know, I'm sure that again, young me would be like, no, it has to be affordable. <laughs> So let's talk about this concealer from e.l.f. This is the Flawless Brightening Concealer. I have a pretty bright shade, like it's very brightening. This is the shade Fair 15W, but there's a lot more shades that I could have gotten that were not quite so brightening. But I feel like this gives me the same effect as the Glossier one does, honestly, like under my eyes. It just brightens everything up and it gives a really beautiful, seamless just look right there without making it look like you're wearing makeup. There's no caking. It just blends out to look so skin-like and so nice. And honestly, I could have done with some eye brightening. <laughs> I wasn't getting a whole lot of sleep. Like I said, I had a new baby. Something like this would have made me feel really, really put together and it's very affordable. Brows real quick. I've never really put a whole lot of effort into my brows. I'm sure you guys can tell, unfortunately, but I would recommend either the e.l.f. Wow Brow or the Essence Make Me Brow for very affordable brow products, and they're both really good. They're both tinted. They offer like a soft amount of hold, and I think they both have fibers too to give your brows a little bit more fluffiness to them. They're really nice, both of them. I like both of them. If it matters, I feel like the one from Essence is a little bit more wet in consistency than the 
the e.l.f. one. Okay, powder. I think I would just recommend the Rimmel Stay Matte. It's very affordable and it's really, really hard to overdo this. Like I have to get my brush and really like scrub in there to pick up any product. So this product can be annoying for that reason. Like I feel like I'm starting to get a little bit of hard pan there, but also it can be a good thing. Like if you're someone who powders and they instantly have cake face because you put on too much, this is a good one to try because like I said, it's hard to pick up enough product or too much product, I should say. Picking up enough product is what happens, but you don't, it's hard to get too much. I don't know if I would necessarily use this under my eyes. This is definitely what I would, you know, majority of the face powder. <laughs> So this is probably the most expensive product I'm going to mention today. It's from Flower Beauty. And I just have to mention it because I love it so much and it totally is, it's up the alley of anyone who wants more natural makeup. So it's from Flower Beauty. This is the Day Glow Highlighting Glaze. I have the shade Stunner. And you can see it's just like a hard balm. It's not very sticky and it just creates the most gorgeous, soft glow on your face. No one's gonna look at that and think, wow, she's got pretty highlight on. Someone's gonna look at that and think, man, look at that girl's juicy skin. This is really, really nice. I don't know if 23 year old me would have been into this though. I wouldn't like, that's okay, I am greasy enough. But no, this doesn't make you look greasy. It's just a really, really pretty, pretty highlight. Okay, let's talk about blushes. Oh, blush. I love blush and just picking one to talk about, I'm finding to be very difficult. <laughs> but I'm just gonna talk about the one that's one of my favorites most recently. So this is from ColourPop. I finally tried out their Super Shock Cheek Formula. This is a satin one. This is in the shade Prenup. I love it because with that soft bouncy texture, it does have a slight blurring effect on the cheeks and it's just not uber pigmented. It's hard to go overboard with this and it just gives the most beautiful soft focus effect. And I mean, and they have it in lots of different colors. The only problem with ColourPop, as you guys all know, is once finding a color, <laughs> trying to find the same color again, if you go to repurchase it can be hard because they discontinue things, it seems like way too often, but I would still recommend trying these out. But if you don't have access to like an Ulta to go look and you don't really want to buy online, but you are near a Dollar General, I would like to recommend this one from Believe Beauty. This is a cream blush, which is so cool to have a super affordable, really nice cream blush at Dollar General. So this is the color Doll Face and it's like a balm again and that is the shade right there it is so beautiful and of course it blends out beautifully it's not a sticky balm which i'm not against necessarily you know sticky balms because sometimes it means that they wear a long time but this one in particular it's not sticky at all and it is such a pretty color and i think it's only four dollars or 450 i'm gonna have to look all these up and uh make sure and put it at least in the description box for you guys so you guys can see the prices but so 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 cool to have a product like this at dollar general let's talk about eyeliner really quick i love this one from wet n wild i think you guys have heard me mention it before <laughs> this is the color icon coal pencil in the shade Sima brown now i love me a brown a nice brown chocolatey eyeliner and oh my goodness it is so nice it's a type where it's perfect for tight lining because it stays there it doesn't smear all over it gives your lashes that really nice full look and if you wanted you know to actually do eyeliner with it you can I have done like little wings with it and it looked nice and this is a giant pencil like I've been using it for quite a while so it's been sharpened several times and it's still really big and this I think this has to be one of the most affordable products that I'm gonna be mentioning today oh yeah that, it's just a, such a good brown and I do like brown eyeliner for more of a natural look versus black and when it comes to eyeshadow, I struggled so much to decide what to include in this video because I have a lot of drugstore favorites or affordable makeup favorites that I feel like a lot of you would enjoy, ones that I would like to mention. But again, going with the theme of what I would recommend to my 23-year-old self, I decided to go with this ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. And this is not one of the glittery ones. The glittery ones, as gorgeous as they are, Ritz is my favorite, by the way, I do have to wear a glitter glue. And I know that at that age, I would not have bo bothered <laughs> with the glitter glue. I just didn't have time for that sort of thing. This is in the satin formula. This is the shade Waddles. It is so pretty. And I don't know if, right, last time I looked, ColourPop didn't have this on their website. I have no, I do not know what their plans are with this particular shade, but the satin formula is absolutely beautiful. And this color, look at that. Oh, it's so nice. Look at that highlight just living its best life right there. 
Like it gives you that glass skin look. I'm telling you that flower beauty highlighting glaze, very, very good. ColourPop's affordable anyway. And then it goes on sale. I feel like pretty regularly. So you can get a ColourPop Super Shock at a really, really good price. And they're easy as punch. And there's gonna be no finagling around with the eyeshadow to get these to work. You put them on, you tap out the edges a little bit. You could use a brush if you wanted to make sure there was no harsh edges, but really you just need your fingers and voila, you have eyeshadow on. Looking through my footage, I must have not pressed record when I uh, put on the eyeshadow. Very annoying, <laughs> sorry. And this shade, it is the one of course that I'm wearing. It's not too loud, it's not too glittery. It would have been something that I would have loved to have worn back then. And I still like it now. <laughs> oh, I just love it because it gives like a healthy sheen to your eyelid. It doesn't make anything look kind of crusty. And while I, like I enjoy all the different textures that are available in eyeshadows, but I gotta admit that from the on the day-to-day -day basis, I prefer a more hydrated looking lid than a lot of the chunky, flaky looks that are popular right now. And that's what this does. It gives you a really good, just healthy looking lid without emphasizing any texture you may have on your lids. I do have some texture and this just, you know, smooths right over. It looks so beautiful. I thought long and hard if I was gonna mention palettes. I don't know, I feel like that would be like a whole separate video talking about favorite drugstore palettes. But I think today I'm just gonna keep it simple, go with a single eyeshadow. Again, if you don't have access to ColourPop, I really, really like the color tattoo from Maybelline and the Red Revlon Colorstay. I'll just quick give you a couple swatches of these. The one from Maybelline color tattoo that I have is the shade High Roller. Talk about a sophisticated shade. Like, oh, that is so pretty. <laughs> and then the Revlon Colorstay. I feel like it has a slightly more, I don't know, thin formula than the Maybelline one, but they are pretty similar to each other. This is in the shade Caramel, I think. Let me make sure. Yes, 710 Caramel. Beautiful, more golden shade. And those two are the same type of thing too for your lids. Nice, long wearing and will not emphasize texture. And they're not super expensive. Although I do think the ColourPop ones are more affordable. Oh my goodness, watching those, I wanna wear them again. I love them, they're so pretty. For mascara, I'm go I would recommend to myself one that I currently don't have because I finished it up. It is, of course, my Essence Lash Princess. It is going to be a repurchase for me. I just haven't done that yet. And Essence has a lot of mascaras that a lot of people enjoy. I feel like it's just about finding the one that's right for your particular lashes. I really like the original uh, false lash effect. I feel like it does all the things. It lengthens, it volumizes, it separates, and it really does make me look like I have big fancy lashes on. I love that mascara and it's very affordable. <laughs> Best part for a lip gloss and I have always been a lip gloss girl. I would have to go with the Essence Shine 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 Wet Look lip gloss. I love how they smell. They smell like candy and I really enjoy the doe foot on it. It's not as big as like the Maybelline ones which I really enjoy as well or as big as the Fenty ones but I feel like it is I don't know bigger and cushier than a lot of the other ones I've tried at the drugstore. There's something about a cushy applicator that makes me really really like a gloss but the formula as well is not sticky whatsoever. It just glides on like butter and you can get it in lots of different shades. This shade Happiness in the Bottle is one of the cream shades but they have shades with like little shimmers in it as well and they're very affordable and also very shiny. The clear version of this, this one gives you the most intense glassy lips I think I've ever experienced or seen. Truly, if you love a clear shiny gloss, this is the one to try. So anyway, if some weird crazy time machine type thing happened and 23 year old me blasted into the future and needed makeup, <laughs> these are the things that I would tell her to get. If for some reason I couldn't share my own makeup with myself from the past, that would be quite a very specific event that happened. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being with me on this very odd video. <laughs> Of course, I realized at the end of my video, I forgot to put my earrings in. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure and let all of us know down in the comments what your favorite, most affordable products are from the drugstore. Because we all know that even though something is in the drugstore or is, you know, not high end, it doesn't necessarily mean it's, you know, not expensive. There's stuff in the drugstore that's near $20 or over $20. So if you have something that is absolutely fantastic and is on the affordable side of affordable makeup, definitely let us know down in the comments. We would all love to know. Again, I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful day. I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye!